Today I want to make a video on how to install Octoprint on Linux because I struggled a bit in the beginning. So we go on Google and search for Octoprint. We have here download and setup. We scroll down a bit for the Linux section. Install manually. So we open a terminal. We need to go where first first step it's install python and uh, pip if you already if you don't have them installed you can do after two install python 3 pip i already have them installed so there's no need then you go to a folder where you want to install them in my in this case it's just in my home folder i just have a few stuff here so you run this command to create a virtual environment for uh, python this takes just a few moments and uh, as you can see it created this folder octoprint if i go it, it just copied some files libraries and stuff okay next step next step is copy this one to install it uh, you have to put a dot dot slash so it's in the current folder and enter now it starts it it's using it's it's showing using cache because i already installed it before uh, otherwise you would see here downloading these files this takes just a bit as you can see these files are very small like one megabyte a few kilobytes and should be done okay it's done Next thing it's uh, we have to run the server. So before I hit enter here, in order to access it, you go to localhost 5000. The, the server is not running now, so you see this error. We'll start the server now. Okay, it started. Refresh the page. It's still starting up. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, to log in in the username and password, it's your, um, it's the username and the username and password you are logged in in Linux. So in my case, I'll type this. Enter. and i am connecting now i'll connect my printer and hit connect it's already set serial port on auto and it's connected should soon show temperature this is my ambient temperature let's suppress let's let's type um, 503 this is gonna print the printer settings Okay, so we installed Dr. Print. Now we need to make a shortcut so we can start it without typing in Octoprint server in console every time. We are gonna create a launcher. If you don't have this option, I'll show you just in a second how to do it the other one. So you just copy the path for the command and plus Octoprint. Okay, so this is just the path for any terminal. Let's pick a random icon. Okay, let's pick this one. Okay, create. Uh, if you don't have this option, you, just, you can just go to desktop. And you can see there's a file, you create here a file, octoprint.desktop. 
we are gonna open it with a text editor and this is the basic uh, desktop shortcut for Linux we basically need here to tell it that the command it needs to execute that it's a terminal to run it in terminal and I can uh, we can just pick put the path to an icon you have okay so now when we double click mark as executable it's gonna start the server and it just closes the window uh, in case you want to keep it open you can edit and put here bin oh, so you're just telling to keep the window open save run again and I think it's already starting no kill it okay let's start again Okay, so now it's just sitting. I like it, I prefer it this way because like this you can close the server and you don't need it anymore. Okay, hope you enjoyed.